Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bitsby Trepan. Glad to have you guys back. Now in the homestead, we are going to be doing some cleaning of GPUs, getting them ready for crypto world this week. And I'm headed back up to the farm actually tomorrow. So when you see this video, it will be that day that I'm heading back up to the farm to bring some more stuff back for you guys as we go through the transition at the farm. But tonight's video is on a rig that I'm troubleshooting right now. And it's a rig that you guys have seen before. So it's an 8X 5700 XT rig that we had built a while back, September of 2019 actually. And let's bring you guys over here. So here it is. This is a 5700 XT rig. This is in the Roswell case. Got a pair of 1000 watt power supplies here. And I have the other card, if you're wondering why there's an XFX in there. This is the other Radeon 5700 XT. These things are in perfect shape. So this rig was a test rig to see if we were gonna go with Roswell cases. In the farm, we built this one and we really did not much of else anything. This rig sat actually on the shelf because we had one card that wasn't playing ball. It was that one. And it was gonna require for me to tear this apart again and see if we had something else going underneath it. The problem with this Roswell case is it's not a lot of room. So you can zip tie things here and get things cleaned up once you got everything running. However, this was our air culprit. Seven would run fine. And uh, it was like, okay, what's going on with this? So I plugged in an X, XFX double dissipation card. And lo and behold, when I go to turn this on, it's actually giving me the air that I'm having here. So if I turn this on, it's gonna get loud for a second because this case is pretty loud. And you can see everything fire up. And that card actually would, would light up too. But right here's our problem. You can see right there. So the blue is good, the red is bad. So this eight pin is my problem. So that gave me, if you have any cards that allow you to light up and, or have a tester for your PCIe's, this is the lesson here is like I could tear that rig apart, try to figure out things and anything with GPU mining, it always comes down to if it's a riser, if it's um, something to do with the PCIe, it could be bad memory. There's a range of different things, but having, you know, putting that card in there and testing it right away showed me that there was something wrong with that extra power connector. So it, it could be that it came loose from the power supply itself. That's what I'm going to run down now and check and see if I can get that fixed, see if I can get that to light up. And then I'll put back this 5700 in there and then it will look uniform. I'm going to put the lid back on and we'll be good to go. So real quick lesson for anybody that's doing any kind of rig maintenance. If you have a card down and you have one that lights up, always keep that card. Don't get rid of that card. I'm going to keep that double dissipation. This is the 14 card version of those cards. Um, so we have a 14 card rig here from the farm with the double dissipation cards. Uh, these are 5,700 rig. This rig right here is really close to almost a giga hash, uh, this whole rig here. So I need to get this one back up. It's uh, not, and then here's our 30, here's some 3090s that we had built a few months back. Uh, 3090s, 3060 Ti, and 3070s. A um, lot going on. So we're gonna be tearing some of this down and taking it to the farm, or taking it to Crypto World and swapping some stuff out since we're refactoring the farm to the A4000 and the A5000 cards. Um, we also had got some shipments in that we had not deployed to the farm. You guys have seen a lot of the videos lately. I've been all over the place. We're actually building a Bitcoin mine at the same time. There's We're building containers. Team BBT is all over the place right now. We, we're really expanding, but we also have 6700s that we haven't covered and then we have LHR non LHR 3080s these are the for the win 3 editions i got several boxes another box here of them also so um, i think 56 in total non LHR 3080 cards um, and then some over there 30, 70, but we're going to give back and, you know, just, we ordered these a while back. 
we're going to put them in crypto world um, and then just sell to the masses as we switch to the A4000 and 5000. So that's not it. There are boxes upon boxes. You know, we got some triple fan uh, 3070s. We got some 1060 6 gigs and six, 3 gigs. And then lots of mining edition uh, GPUs here. So these are all mining edition 470s. Uh, a lot of four gig cards and eight gig cards. And then we got some power supplies in here too. And motherboards, gray matter cases, 1080s, 1080 Ti's, a whole range. I mean, the farm, we're, we're switching the entire farm out and modernizing it. And we're going to a singular card type um, when it comes to the 5,000 and 4,000 for our farm. However, that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna cover stuff for you guys on configuration. I still love this stuff and we can do it in, you know, small like single rigs or something, but I'm just not gonna build a huge farm out of a hodgepodge of different cards just because what's shown us is it's just a lot more effort to do that at a large scale with a range of different cards. So we'll still get some cards and test cards for you guys. That's not going anywhere. So if you subscribe to this kind of content with troubleshooting, working through your rig, configuration management of that. That is the lifeblood of this channel and I will not stop that for you guys. And then we'll, when these start to become available at Crypto World, we're gonna put a link on the channel to see how you guys can get to that. If you're in the St. Louis area, they'll be available there. We're figuring out how we're gonna do kind of a crawl walk run with that too, just to allow people to have opportunity to get some we're figuring out if we're going to do a lottery system or any kind of thing like that to be able to pick these cards up for reasonable prices, um, including some of the, the 8 gig 470s and stuff uh, for folks that want to, you know, kind of start with smaller rigs. So I'm rambling. I'm going to let you guys get back to it. Hopefully you guys like this content. Like, subscribe, share. This is going to be, there's going to be tons of breakdown videos of this stuff and cleaning and we're going to take you guys through that process that way you know that if you are getting like a seven card rig from a bbt uh setup you know that it's been taken care of and it's been cleaned up so like and subscribe share the content this is for you gamers out there too you guys can buy those cards just like anybody else out at crypto world so more more to follow with that peace decentralization is one of the most important factors in a global cryptocurrency network Bitcoin's proof-of-work functions due to the exceptional security provided by the miners of the network. Today's sponsor is Compass Mining, a company with a customer-focused experience providing a tailored approach to purchasing, hosting, or even an at-home option, allowing anyone the opportunity to participate. If this interests you, head over to compassmining.io.